Welcome you guys, 107 Cottage Court. Parked outside, give you a little view of what's around. I know you guys have already seen the outside, but can't hurt to have a refresher. So as you can see, as you walk up to the, I guess, back of this house, there is a little storage off the back of the house. So even though it's the same square footage as the other, uh, the other one available, it is a little bit different inside. And so I'll, I'll show you that as we walk in. But let's walk around the outside. We've got three AC units here. And I'm pretty sure that we are right across from where y'all were staying. Okay, so here we are. We'll call this the front porch. You've got a, a second story porch, but you do not have on this house the third story porch. And I'll show you that when we get up there. But um, this is a concrete, I believe, uh, patio. Got a little sitting area out here. Uh, let's walk inside. So one good thing about this one, you don't have any carpet. You have all tile on the first floor and then wood stairs and wood flooring upstairs. But let's take a look. Some pretty nice furnishings. They did a good job with that. A lot of seating here in the living room. Then you've got a little fireplace there. I believe it's gas. It may be electric. I'm not sure. I'd have to check on that. And then TV above. Nice bookcase. Uh, there is obviously the stairway. Here's your dining area. You've got a, a breakfast bar there with three bar stools. You could probably fit a fourth. And then give you a good look at the kitchen there. Stainless appliances, they're all monogram. Uh, you have a Samsung refrigerator. But you do have a gas range there with the hood vent above. The cabinets go floor to ceiling, which is pretty nice. This is kind of a European style here. These open upward instead of side to side. You have a white subway tile backsplash. You do have a half bath here on this first level. And then remember in 115, when we walked to the back, there was a bedroom back here. But in this house, you have the laundry and then you have storage. They keep this as an owner's storage, but you could use it for whatever you wanted. And it's actually not that big of a space, but big enough to put bikes and, um, bikes and you know beach equipment, chairs, all that good stuff. I think you could probably fit a golf cart in here, but um, that would be, you'd have to clear it out to do that. So no bedroom on the first floor. All the bedrooms are upstairs. Let's head up. No whining, no complaining, absolutely no frowning, only hugs, smiles, and warm, fuzzy feelings. That's what, I, that's what I call vacation. Usually in my family, it's a lot of yelling and crying and frowning. Okay, so we've got a queen bed in this room. Like I said, wood flooring. Wood seems to be in pretty good condition. I think it's an engineered hardwood. Um, there are, there's a space over here where it's been rubbed. I'm not sure what cause that, but there is a little bit of wear and tear there. The rest of the room seems pretty good. Here is the bathroom. You have a walk-in shower. I can hear the toilet running. I'm not sure why, but that's minor fixes. Here's your walk-in shower, all subway tile. It's nice that they have a, uh, a day bed here. It's more another sleeping area. And you've got drawers underneath. And then let's head across the hall. You 
and I would consider this one the master. It does have a king bed. And I'm sorry, I forgot to walk out on the porch of the other bedroom, but let's do it on this one. Again, they've got this concrete type material on the decking, which is nice and, um, and all the hardy shake looks to be in good condition. Like I said, in the last one, this just needs a power wash. It's just got some cobwebs in the corners, but nothing that looks like it's deteriorating at all on the exterior. And let's walk into the master bath. As I enter, we've got a closet on either side, one they've got locked as an owner storage. And then this would be the closet for the guests to use. You've got a dual vanity here in the bathroom. Little cubbies underneath. You have got a soaking tub on this side. And then you walk back here and you'll see where the toilet is and the walk-in shower. Again, all seems to be in pretty good condition. I'm not really seeing any wear and tear, except for that one spot on the wood flooring. But in this room, it all appears to be good. I mean, right next to the, to the nightstand, you can see, it looks like the nightstand's been moved around a little bit and caused a little bit of wear on that wood, but it's really minor. Same thing here with the bed frame. Okay, one more flight. All right, on the top floor, we have another king bed. It's a pretty big room. Again, minor um, wear and tear on the flooring. Let's take a look outside. Exterior seems to be in good condition. Um, these lights, lights and fans that are exterior, you just kind of have to budget for every three to five years that you're replacing those. Um, no matter what you do or what material you buy, uh, the salt air here will eat that stuff. And then again, we have a walk-in bath with closets on both sides. And then hold on, let me flip these lights on. And then in this bathroom, you do have a soaking tub as well. And the same sort of dual vanity setup with the uh, cubbies underneath. Hey guys. And again, toilet and a walk-in shower. On the other side of the hall, we have a hall bath, single vanity, tile floor, and then it looks like a tub shower combo. You have a nice window there in the shower, which is nice. And then you have a big bunk room for all the kids. So you can sleep one, two, three, four, five, six in this room. and they would all share that bath there. So, really cool space. If I was a kid, I'd love to hang out up here. Um, so the biggest difference between this one and 115 is that you do not have that upstairs living space, that second kitchen, and that big um, third floor porch. Uh, you have the storage on the first floor and all the bedrooms are upstairs. So thank you guys for taking the tour with me and stay tuned because I've got one more surprise for you.